Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video on my most used makeup. I don't wear makeup every day, but this is my go-to makeup. Um, these are both Betsy Johnson makeup bags. This one's so full I can't even close it because it has all my um, eyeshadow palettes in it. And I usually pick between, you know, most of them. It's depending on what I'm wearing that day or what I feel like wearing on my eyes. But on my vanity, I like to have a couple of bags, you know, that when I'm in a hurry, that I can go to my most used makeup. Let's see. This is... My Betsy Johnson makeup bag it has pockets on each side. First of all, this is my most used lotion, face lotion. Eucerin Anti-Wrinkle Sensitive Skin Lotion. I have super, super sensitive skin. I mean, I can't even tell y'all, I mean, how sensitive my skin is. So I have to be very careful. There is so much makeup I have bought and it just breaks me out. It's like I have rosacea plus um, I have to point to where, you know, my skin just gets this major allergic reaction to a lot of stuff. So I have to be careful what I buy, which really, really sucks. Okay, let's see. Okay, in this first pocket, this is the Fit Me by Maybelline, Dewy and Smooth. A lot of these products, I mean, this is mainly for dry skin, so I have very dry skin. And this, I can't even explain how good this is, I mean, for the price. I have bought foundations that range up to like $80 and didn't work as good as this. But if you have dry skin and sensitive skin, this works so well for me. And it might for you too. At a very good price. And sorry if my makeup's all messy and not clean because this is real life. And, you know, I don't sit there and wipe down every item that I use every day. So some of it's pretty messy. This is my primer that I use as a primer, Revitalizing Day Serum by Studio Gear. This is also, this also can be used by itself before putting on makeup. If you have super dry, flaky skin on your face, this is a must. There's no scent or anything, so it doesn't bother if you have sensitive skin. But it helps your makeup go on so well. This is something I picked up a long time ago. Line Eliminator, which works very well, actually. Got it from Avon. You put this into your, you know, deepest lines on your face, and it really helps, you know, them to not be as noticeable. This is another one, like that one. Mary Kay Time Wise works very well also this is more of a liquid that comes out like more like a lotion when this is more like a um, a balm you know like a chapstick would be I use this primer on my eyelashes works very well makes them so much longer looking and this is from Walmart this is one of the best mascaras that I have bought you know um, what do you call it? like drugstore makeup or whatever in a long time I was using much more expensive mascaras until I found this one and this one works I mean my eyes are sensitive also so this one doesn't burn my eyes or make my eyes water 
and it makes my lashes super long. Love it. This is High Beam by Benefit. It's a highlighter, which I've used ooh, a little under half of it. Let's see if I can shake it up. Very pretty, though. Works real well, also on dry skin. This is a uh, Smashbox Halo, I believe. Yeah, Halo eyeshadow. Now, if you have wrinkles around your eyes or, you know, on your eyelids or wherever around your eyes, this stuff really works. It doesn't, you know, make them more uh, noticeable. It actually, it really helps, you know, make them less visible. I love the Smashbox Halo line. Oh my gosh. Every product I've used from that, I have been in love with. Which this is another one. This is the Milled I think, Powder. Yeah. This is another thing. Instead of using pressed powder, if you have some lines on your face, or starting to age, or whatever this right here is the best thing to use pressed powder will make the lines more visible let me see if i can get this open with one hand there we go sorry it's so messy but you turn this and uh you know it's more of a loose powder sorry for it. it's so messy it's very messy because it's loose powder but this stuff is awesome. This is a blush I've used twice. Very pigmented. You don't need much of this at all. I forgot where I got this from. Very pretty color. This is another blush by Wet n Wild. Fantastic Plastic Pink. Very pretty color. I love this one. This is a blush I got by NARS. Um, it's Orgasm. It's also a very pretty color. Let me get this open. It's very nice. This is eyeshadow by Revlon, which you can see I've used a lot. This eyeshadow works very well, it stays on all day. I have loved this. I have many of these in different colors, which are in my vanity. Like I said, this is just my most used um, stuff. This is Too Faced. Lipstick. Very nude color. Naked do Dolly. I've used that a lot. This thing's starting to want to fall over because it's getting you know, empty. This is a lip liner. I have used the same color for years. I get this at Dullard's. Umber is the color. I love this. Lip liner. This is an eyelash curler. I use every time I do my makeup. Uh, a MAC white eyeliner. I think it's called Fascinating. Oh, this is an awesome lip liner. I've used so much of this. It's already been sharpened down to very little. Sorry if you can't. It's not wanting to focus. But it's like a nude color. Another, I think, 
This is eyeliner that I love. Why is this my phone focusing on? Super Slim by L'Oreal. This is another one I love. I think this one's by Smashbox. It's more of a silver. This one is um, Stay In Line. Very good eyeliner also. I think that's dark chocolate. And this is by Bad Gal Liner Waterproof. Uh, no, this is by Benefit, but it's called Bad Gal. It's a black eyeliner. Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner. Another goodie. I use like um, between brown and black, but mainly brown I use the most on my eyes. I have blue eyes. This is a MAC blush I love. I have bought this twice already and it has hit pan again. So I'm fixing to have to rebuy this again. This is like the perfect tone for my face on blush. I even contour with this. It's just perfect. Flirt and Tease. Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush by MAC. This color is, to me this color would work on any skin tone. It is gorgeous. This is one of my brushes. Elizabeth Arden, I believe. Yeah, it's about worn off. This is one of the softest brushes ever. I just love it. Need to clean my brushes again, though. This is a MAC lipstick that I use a lot. Snob. Satin Snob. really pretty color and this was a limited edition I believe oh and I love it pretty please I have used this a lot I mean look how tore up it is oh my gosh I've used this I used that like a highlighter on the middle of my bottom lip and it's a gorgeous color for that. No matter what shade of lipstick you're wearing, put this on in the middle of the bottom of your lip and you got that nice highlight making your bottom lip look fuller. And this is my um, most used brow. Let's see if I can get it open. That is... You can see I use the blonde one the most. This is another, this is a blush brush that I love. This one was actually really cheap, but it has been the best little brush. It doesn't shed, super soft, goes on right now. I, I cannot remember for the life of me where I got this. It drives me crazy because I would love to have more. This is the Cover Girl. I think I had this in my, one of my most recent videos. Which is a very pretty shade. I can get it open. Okay. Now this one, I don't know why it's in here. I have not used this but a couple of times. It's not one of my most used. It's a brighter pink but gorgeous. Because on days and I'm just, you know, I don't know. You know, just running out, running some errands or whatever. I do more of a natural look. 
No more of the nudes. New color of nudes. It's just another MAC lipstick. This is pretty. I've used this a lot. This is a gorgeous color. These are all brushes. This was a, a trial size, sample size or whatever, of that um, mascara primer I had that I showed you earlier. I got this as a free gift on my birthday last year, and I fell in love with it, so I bought the full size. This is my beauty blender. And my little blender. These are some um, brushes that I love. I think they're by Wish. Super soft. Don't shed. They work very well. I love them. This is to Perfector. I love these blending brushes. They are so awesome. Let's see. Now this, I didn't want to go through each one. Oh my gosh, this is just a lot. Some brushes. Which we all know what brushes look like. <laughs> Let's see. And this is the... I think the Juicy Shaker, am I saying that right? I am not sure. And the piece of cake. But yeah, you shake this up. Oh gosh, I don't know if this is gonna be a mess if I try to do this one handed. And then this is what you put on your lips. Very pretty. I just love these. You can get them in all different colors. The piece of cake is my favorite. That's it. Let me make sure on this one. Oh, one more. Oh, this is another shade of the Smashbox Halo for eyes. Because you have one color here and another color here. And you turn the thing... Um, and it mills out, you know, the colors. Like I said, this is best for wrinkles around the eyes or eyes that are aging. This is perfect. Okay. Let's see if I can get this without all this falling over. Okay. I know I need to find another thing for this because this is just awful. It's, look how packed full. It won't even zip. So these are my palettes. I do have some organizers on my vanity, but I'm bad, and not, bad about not keeping my palettes in there because I like them close at hand, and I, sent, I tend to forget them when I don't see them. But these are a few in here that I got recently. I don't know if I can even open up this one. Funfetti. These are ones I'm starting to experiment with that I just recently got. Goodness, I don't know if I can open this one handed. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. This is Tarte. Beautiful. Oh, this one was Too Faced Funfetti. And I have a lot of Too Faced. I love it. Natural Face. I've used this a lot. There's highlighters and stuff in there. It's very pretty. And Too Faced Chocolate Bar, which smells just like chocolate. This has some very pretty colors. And another Too Faced. You don't love Too Faced. Smoky Eye. And 
this is one of my favorites right here, Too Faced Cat Eyes. This came with a brush, a leopard type cheetah, whatever print that is, brush. This has the most gorgeous colors and you can wear it wet. I mean, use it as wet or dry. And I've used this a lot, but you can hardly tell. I mean, it really goes a long, long ways. And then recently I got this highlighter that um, I haven't even tried yet. But I know it's going to be one of my favorites. I did swatch it on my hand and I am just in love. So I can't wait to use this. So this is my most used makeup. I hope this wasn't too boring. Maybe one day soon I'll do a whole uh, video on my vanity. I mean, well, you know, all my makeup. But this is most of my go-to stuff. I appreciate you all watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please give a thumbs up and comment down below. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.